everyone! Welcome to Dot Dot Toys. In this video, we will be using this fingerprint drawing book and these fingerprint ink pads to make some really cool pictures. Now, let's take a closer look at this book. If you haven't noticed it yet, all these fun pictures are made with your fingerprints. We have here some holiday fingerprint pictures. These are some animal ones. picture of a crocodile and if you take a closer look these are all the steps it takes from going from this first step all the way down to this step right here so it tells you step by step what to do now let's look at this page right here here we have a picture of a person and again, it tells you all the steps to do, step by step, in order to get to this final picture right here. Now, all these pictures I'm going to show you today are going to have something in common. These pictures will be based in our seasons. Who knows how many seasons we have? That's right, four. We have spring, summer, fall, winter. Four seasons. First, let's do a spring picture. Now, I'm going to write the word spring on top. So when I think of spring, I think of flowers. So let's try to do our first fingerprint flower. So let's take a look at the steps we need to do. So these are all the steps we're going to do to create this beautiful flower at the end. First, let me draw a little hill so I can place my flower in. start with the first step. I get my yellow color, place my finger on top, press, see what it looks like, it looks like that. So right up here, that's my first step. Now get another. Place my finger again on the yellow. Place it on. I'm going to do it right next to it, almost on top, but just like that. Get my finger again. This time, I'm going to place it this side. my finger on the ink pad. This time I'm going to go on this side. Now my finger's all yellow. I'm going to clean that up with some water. Now I'm going to get the orange color. Orange. Just the tip of my finger. A little bit more orange. Get it darker. That looks better. Now I'm going to put it right in the middle. Now I need my stem, which I'm going to do with my marker all the way down. And I'm going to put 
two green leaves on the side. Take my green, place my clean finger, press, it's green. One on this side, get a little bit more green, and one on this side. What do you guys think? Pretty good, huh? Now when I think of spring, I also think of a tree filled with pink blossoms. So let's make my tree. First, I'm gonna do my tree trunk. And what color is a tree trunk? That's right, brown. So get my brown ink pad, press. My brown. So I'm gonna make a nice big tree. So I'm gonna all the way down, get more, get some more brown. All the way down, keep making it a little bit, a little darker. There you go. Now I'm gonna do my pink blossoms. Get my nice vibrant pink. Get my finger. Press, 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 and I'm just going to put my fingerprints all over, continue pressing. You can make it darker by just getting more ink and then going over the same place where you put your fingerprint over and over. That's pretty good. Now, let's put a nice butterfly flying by my tree. I'm gonna use pink again. I wanna use a pink, let's use a darker pink this time for my butterfly. This time I'm gonna use a darker pink. Let's put my butterfly here. One wing here. See that. And one wing on this side. Let's clean my finger. Now with my marker, I'm just gonna draw its body. in a little bit, draw its little head, fill it in, give it some intense. There's my little butterfly. Now along with my flower and my tree and my butterfly, let's draw a little frog right over here. What color can a frog be? That's right, green. I'm going to take my green, press, and I'm going to need two fingerprints for my frog. There's my green. I'm going to put one on top. Get more green. one on the bottom. Now with the marker, I'm going to draw its eyes. One, two, and my frog is very happy. So I'm going to draw a nice big smile. Ribbit. 
and let's put up this legs right over here. How does that look? Well, we're done with spring. Now we're going to do our next season, which is summer. So let's move this to the side. Let's write summer up top. Uh, summer. Now, when I think of summer, I think, of course, of the nice, bright, yellow sun. So let's get a sun up here somewhere. I'm going to get my yellow again. Press firmly. Be enough yellow. Let's do my sun right over here. There you go. Let's make it a little darker. So I'm going to take my yellow again and go over the same spot. There's my sun. Now I need to make a happy sun. So let's make some happy eyes, a happy smile, and some beautiful rays. There's my sun. Now here, when I think of summer, I also think of a tree filled with green, green leaves. So let's now make a tree. Let's continue my little hill. I end it here, so I'm gonna continue it. Now I have a place where I can put my tree on. Let's start with the trunk. Put it right over here. So fingerprint, 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 and let's do one more. One more fingerprint. There you go. Now this tree is going to have nice bright green leaves. So I'm going to get my green a whole bunch of green fingerprints on my tree over and over. Perfect. Take my green to the side. Since we have the sun right here, I'm gonna draw someone relaxing outside. This time I'm going to use orange. I'm going to need one fingerprint. And let's move this up. And another fingerprint. Because it's so sunny, this person has some ruby glasses. also has a beautiful smile to go along with those glasses. Look at that. What do you think so far? 
Now this person needs some legs. So one, two, some nice feet to go with it. Let's draw some nice arms. He's not laying on the floor, he's laying on a nice clean towel. So let's draw a nice towel now. There he is, relaxing in the sun. So far we've done spring and summer. Now let's go into our next season, which is fall. I'm going to write fall up here. Fall. Since we've done a tree for spring, a tree for summer, we have to do a tree for fall. So let's continue my nice little hill. Again, I'm going to need my brown to make my trunk for my tree. So, there's my tree trunk. That was pretty easy. Now, we can't have green leaves for the fall, so let's do some yellow and orange leaves. Those are fall colors, right? So let's do a few yellow leaves with my fingerprints. I think that's enough. And now, Right on top of it, I'm going to draw some orange leaves. Not too many, just a little bit, just to give it that slight fall color. Now next to my tree, my fall tree, I'm going to draw a flying bird Maybe he's flying south for the winter, getting away from the cold, cold weather. Let's do a little yellow bird. So, one fingerprint here, another fingerprint here. I'm going to draw his eye right over here. And all birds have a beak, so I'm going to draw a beak. Start drawing its wings. One over here, one over here, one here, and another one here. Let's try to draw, make it look like feathers. There you go, it's flying south. And our last season is winter. Whoop. In. T. Er. Let's continue with our tree theme. So here, let's draw a nice evergreen tree. Move it to the side. Again. Draw my trunk. That's the easiest part. Make it nice 
nice and dark. Now let's draw the top part. With that evergreen tree, I might use a few more greens. I have different color greens, so I might use some lighter greens. This is a light green. So I might go into a little darker green a little bit. Let's see how this looks. Could be a big tree. did before with my fingerprint. Alrighty. Done with my evergreen tree. And of course for winter we have to make a snowman. So let me draw my snowman right here in this little corner. Take my nice blue. I'm going to start with top, another top, and then I'm going to go to the bottom, but this time I'm going to go across. side. Let's draw some eyes on my snowman. Of course my snowman also has a big beautiful smile. We can't have a snowman without a hat. So let's draw the bottom part of my hat. his three little buttons. There's my snowman! <laughs> so I hope you liked my fingerprint pictures for each season. Spring, summer, fall, winter. Well that's it for now. If you like what you saw please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. We would really, really appreciate it. Until next time, bye.